best of one. They're not missing anything. This, it started and it's going. So yeah, Forever is up against the winner of Yurga and Klun. Possibly against Klun again, although they won the first time, so I don't know. I mean, maybe. Yeah, let's get this up and running. Not sure when this... Oh, right. Just point out. Losers. Oh, no. I don't do losers. I do brackets thing. This is... Sorry about that. Just to allow you to see what's going on, even though you get to see all the interface failures. Anyway. Yeah, I have horror. So, Kluan and Yurga. Yurga... Up Apparently, got a bit of a, well, possibly early economic lead. It looks like it's fairly even. Nice harassment from Kloon there. All right, let's see if we can catch up in the state of the game. So Kloon starting out in a defensible position. Yurga starting out in a more aggressive central position. And Yurga is, they were ahead economically, it looks like, until they got harassed. So yeah, Yurga getting a bit ahead early on. Kloon is stabilizing, I'd say. Getting a decent defensive position. This second Lotus, that'll be enough. Yeah, the two Scorchers will die. Well, actually, Yurga will probably move the second Scorcher back. No, not paying attention. Both Scorchers just, just die. Hardly dealing any damage. I expected a retreat there. Nice. Yurga setting up that Scorcher for stopping expansions. I'd like to see that. Nothing really coming from... Oh, yeah, no, Kloon does have that, too. Kloon is also dealing with that, making sure to prevent expansions whenever possible. Always good to see that. That's always a sign of good play, is setting up units to prevent expansions, at least to know when they're coming, forcing a little bit extra effort to actually get the expansion. Scorcher's dead, though. I mean, that's kind of out of the way now. I mean, Yurga now knows Clone has the expansion. That's always important, but it's more to deny the expansion outright. Knowing they have the expansion is a secondary benefit at best. It's more like a consolation prize, really. <laughs> like, oh, I didn't stop it, but at least I know it's there. At least I know they have an extra seven or eight medal. And, yeah, Clone trying to deny the deny. Not able to do that. Actually, that one they are. They are, able to, they are able to secure this expansion over to the center. And Clone not denying. What the heck? This These two glaives are here for the purpose. They are not. They don't know they're there. They don't know anything's there. They aren't scouting around either. They aren't double-checking all the metal extractors to make sure that they there's something that they don't know. But they don't know this is here. Clone has no idea. Totally unknown. It's a, it would be a good deny, otherwise. It would actually be a really good position for a deny. But I don't see that happening. Now these glaives are static. Center of the map, though. Yurga, making sure Kloon can't get too far forward. So this is basically the line that Yurga wants. Like, Yurga wants the front line here. Roughly. Actually, it seems like they want the front line to encompass this area here. Like, to be like... Th come on. This. I think this is what they want the front line to be. Doing a pretty good job of it too, actually. They're really giving Kloon a hard time for trying to take the center expansion. And that's the really hard part about taking a corner expansion, is that expanding from the hair, like, Yurga can easily expand from the center to hit either side and doesn't have to worry too much about defense. Kloon, starting from the corner, getting even to the center is a bit of a problem, let alone to the northeast side of the map. Like, both of those are going to be issues. Oh wow, apparently Kane's actually also just as a side thing, has beaten Aquinum and moved on to semifinal lose to semifinals two. Actually, should point that out. Semifinals one. Because that's the way that double limb works. There's two There's pretty much two of each bracket. Alright, so Clone right now is well, taking a bit of heat. It's not too bad. But Yurga is just... They are not letting Clone do anything. They're just... These Scorchers are doing a great job. Clone right now, I'm a bit surprised they haven't tried to... Like, go... Like, just find base trade opportunities. I mean, these Glaives... Now they're denying. Now they're coming in here. Yurga was not actually suspecting that was coming in. So, Sleeper Glaives waking up. Clone getting in some harassment of their own. 
But Yurga is so far ahead, even with that. I mean, at this point, that'll stay, but that'll equalize. <laughs> so old school, trying to build a Maginot line. I love it. Yes, they are. Unfortunately, Yurga has long since implemented the Schleifen plan. And they've been doing it fairly well. If this northeast side of the map is Belgium, then, yeah, it's not working out. Which is kind of funny, because Klon is the German player here. Jurga's Russian, like... Why is Klon using the French strategy? Anyway, World War One jokes aside, this... Actually, it's both one and two. This is... This is... Well, the, the direct assault working well. Breaking down the Maginot lines working properly. You didn't know the French used to have laser technology? My goodness, where have you been? Were you not paying attention to history class? I mean, it got—it was experimental. It got destroyed during World War II, and it has been classified ever since. But every good conspiracy theorist knows about the French laser weapons. Sheesh. Where have you been? I suppose that's kind of contradictory. Did you not do conspiracy theory history? What's wrong with you? What are you, non-paranoid and well-adjusted? So, Yurga is probably going to win this. Yurga, I like this. No, no, Yurga went around it. Yurga went around it. Like I said, this is Belgium. This is France. But it doesn't matter anymore because there's just enough firepower. It doesn't matter. And Clone's attempts at getting around this are not working out. So it looks like this is probably going to be... No, what? No, what am I saying? Clone is counterattacking. But I don't know. I still think Yurga has... I think Yurga has the advantage. I'm not sure if my thoughts reflect reality. I'm beginning to suspect that they do not. Or at least, Clone is still stabilizing. They, they were hit hard, but they are not down for the count. They are not dead. They got a lot of reclaim to work with. They actually have a slight military advantage right now. Forcing Yurga back, Yurga's not the best prepared to deal with this. They should be okay. They should be able to manage. They'll lose a couple metal extractors, no big deal. You win some, you lose. You get some metal extractors, you lose some metal extractors. It's not that big of a problem. Just make sure you get them back, that's all. And. Hmm. Still a lot of harassment coming with the Swifts, despite the anti-air. The clone not going down softly, but Yurga once again going through Belgium. Because why not? Sending their tanks through Belgium. And into France. Once again, just past the line. Although admittedly, the Maginot line has been knocked down, so at this point it doesn't really matter. But still, taking that northeast path. That center expansion, I don't think clones hold it, held it for two minutes straight at this point. It's been... Maybe they just did. Maybe that was like three minutes when they just lost it. But yeah, that expansion has been anything but secure. That entire time. And once again, Bone should be able to stop this, uh, this assault. I mean, these, these Ravagers are basically dead, thanks to the Glaives. But even then, this is still... This is 11 minutes in. My goodness, this has been a fast exploding game. Clone remaining ahead thanks to re or remaining on par thanks to reclaim. Ahead militarily, on par economically. All because of reclaim. So at this point, no more error, but yeah, Reaper Glaive. Interesting mix. I mean, Warriors would actually still do fairly well. Reapers actually, if properly microed Warriors will be Reapers. Mindset that requires proper micro. At this point, Yurga doesn't care. Yurga's just going with the Ravagers. Glaives, of course, being a problem here. The Reaper's not. The Reapers are basically dead. That's a lot of metal to lose. That's like 2,400 metal right now in Reapers. No, never mind. 3,400. Wait, really? Oh, yeah, it's 850 each. That's right. Yeah, I'm off by 50 each time. Wow. And the Glaives... Well, good pressure. Pushes them back. That's what you need. Yurga not allowed to get it for free. A good retreat. I like to see that. It's good that Yurga's retreating. Do not use units, units unnecessarily. A 
at the same time, once again, another another pass through Belgium. Actually, they basically just annex Belgium at this point. This is Yurka's territory now. Sorry, Belgium. Yeah. This might punch through. Clone is starting to fall behind again. It, this, I think it's going to get down to this battle partially, but these Scorchers... These Scorchers are going to tear apart most of the base. Clone getting a bit distracted, forced to retreat a little bit. Moving away their counter units, and... Oh, this would be the perfect time. If you're going to attack right now, that flank would be perfect. I mean, these Glaives might get rid of the Scorchers, but they're out of position to get rid of the Ravagers. The Ravagers get rid of the Reapers. Clone loses their commander, too, but this is such a great time to attack at the same time. Out of position once again. Yurga, you know they're out of position. You can see that. Go for the kill. No, they didn't go for the kill. They actually lost a remarkable amount of units in that fight. Okay, and Kloon realizing, oh, hey, there's there's other people's mechs here. What the heck's going on? Okay, now they're attacking, but yeah, that would have been a perfect time to flank. They're attacking both sides. I'm not sure what Yurga's might what Yurga's multitasking skill is. I mean, that would have been a really high APM double attack, but the, if they managed to pull that off, that would have been very powerful. But now Yurga's so far ahead military, or so far ahead economically, getting further ahead militarily too, but mostly economically. Still surprisingly only on the light vehicle factory. I'm surprised they haven't switched over to like adding in gunships or adding in heavy tanks or adding a strider hub. Nope, no Strider Hub. All of that is surprising. I mean, like, five Reapers, that's... Actually, seven Reapers, seven thousand... Six thousand metal! Yeah, I would recommend getting a Strider or two, like getting a Scorpion to stun them out, or getting Dante just to win with sheer firepower. No one might actually take this back, just because Yurga's not shifting over to a better force. A better force composition. I think at this point, I mean... They're doing a pretty decent job with a light vehicle factory. It's not terrible, but at this point, with plus 50, they've had plus 50 for most of the game. They could be building striders this entire... They could have been building striders this entire time. Wolverine coming in as well, so Clone's going to be able to wipe out this entire section pretty quick. And these Reapers are not getting properly surrounded. We don't see Impalers very much. Yeah, the Reapers kind of forced back, but honestly, Clone... I think Clone has stabilized. This northeast side of the map is going to get defenses set up to stop any more attacks through. Clone finally has the defenses properly set up. They've finally taken Belgium for themselves. And these Stardusts are being a problem. The Impalers will help a lot. That'll get rid of the Stardusts pretty quick, but still. Now, Clone just has so much breathing room. They have. They don't have to worry so much about dealing with the Northeast. They can get their army up. They can get their Wyvern up that they just have. They have far less of a concern than what they're going to do. Now, the Wyvern needs to attack. Needs to soften this entire area up. Why is it not doing so? Where is that Wyvern? No, really. Where is that Wyvern? Why is it... Soften this up. The Reapers are going to need it. One of them is about to die. In fact, one of them has just died. That would have been embarrassing if they didn't actually die. But, yeah, another one's also about to die. And these Stardusts are getting broken up. Why, Clone, you built a Vern? What do you build it for, if not to destroy this army? Like, what else would you destroy? There's this army. There's... That's about it. I guess the fusion plant, but you don't know that exists. Actually, wouldn't go in one hit. There we go, now hitting the army, and... Okay, I guess that's kind of why. Seriously, people, Phoenixes aren't that bad. Uh, yeah, it's cool at this point. Clone at this point in a very competent position. Take out that Stardust. Take out more Stardust. I mean, if Yurga takes out the Stardust, then Clone has basically no defenses. And the Northeast. Yurga trying again. The Stardust will put a stop to that. There's a lot of Scorches that are about to go down. Oh, that was a nice shot. But yeah, the Ravagers... Man, those Glaives... That Glaive flank, that's a trap. That's a nice ambush coming in from Yurga. That's going to be a very powerful trap. And Scorchers, Yurga not paying attention, or just now, but deciding, you know what, screw it, I think I can kill the Stardust. No, you can't. No, you really can't. You, you, you can't. That's not an option. 
Those stardusts mean you cannot go there. That's not challenge, that's just no. That's just you may not. And now Clone might come for a comeback. I think this is I think this is a comeback. Losing those reference was a big deal. Not having any real escalation of force, either in terms of numbers, in terms of kind. I mean, Scorchers over here would have been great. Scorchers over here would have done a wonderful job. Scorchers and Levelers dealing with all this. That would have been extremely effective. I mean, still a couple doing some harassment, but this is not the time for harassment. I mean, this is the time for desperate defense. How many glaives are there? 73... Oh, how many glaives are there right now? 60 glaives. Right here. Because why not? That is a massive amount of glaives. This, yeah, air heavy cloaking, and like, no diversification from Yurga. Not a whole lot of build power either, all things considered. I mean, Light Vehicle does have options. I mean, it has levelers, it has scorchers, it's just. Yeah, the, not necessarily the best option in all cases. Still, I mean, if Yurga. If Yurga somehow manages to get through this, which I don't know if they will, I don't think they will. I seriously doubt it, but if they somehow manage to. No, they're still screwed. <laughs> they're not going to have a chance. Even if they get through this, they're they're heavily weak. And I was about to say their economy's better, but no, it's not. It's actually getting quite weak. All this harassment is doing a massive da massive amount of damage. It's doing a huge number on this. I mean, sure they were able to counter harass somewhat, but these glaives are not going down in a hurry. And there's still like there's still six reapers coming in here, and no real answer from Yurga. Their commander's not even more. Wow. I'm actually really surprised. They're obviously going for a very... Their base is very constructed up. They didn't have their support commander going with it. So yeah, clone advances. Yurga's eliminated, clone advances, and we are now... And the winner's finals haven't even started yet. So yeah, now it's clone and forever. Rematch for clone and... Rematch for clone! Can clone beat forever a second time? I think, wow. I mean, Yurga had so much pressure on Clone the entire time. I think the biggest mistake was the fact that Yurga obviously didn't diversify. And also, they really didn't punch through what they needed to punch through. Like, when the Reapers were there, tearing through them. And also, I mean, the Glaives, I don't think they knew about them. That was a big thing Clone had up their sleeve. Was that massive amount of Glaives. Like, five dozen Glaives. Just there. Because why not? Oh, okay. Shizuki pointing out Scorch's survival against single Stardust. That's still a lot of damage being taken, but that was also not single Stardusts. That was like three. The one, the first one was kind of ahead, but once the second one was noticed, it was, yeah, it was there. Of course I'm theory crafting. What am I supposed to do? What else was I doing commentating? Play-by-play -play isn't really entertaining commentary. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Skazi is, Skazi in the chat is on his theory crafting, not me. I mean, I am theory crafting. That's part of what I do. That's kind of the point. Okay, so it looks like... How far ahead? So Google Fog and Yogstoth are four minutes into what looks like game three. I think. I'm guessing it's game three. So yeah, that was... That was game three. Sorry, game one. Sorry, not game three. That was game one. Because we're now on to quarterfinals, or semifinals two. And game one of that, I'm not sure where it is. I think, oh, LLTA Complex, okay. Unless the winner's finals happens right away, but there's Four minutes into game three of winter semifinals, probably not going to be an option. Okay, so yeah, we're on LLTA complex. I think I recall this being an okay map, but it's not a very popular map, that's for sure. No one, play people don't really play on this map, it is not popular. Oh, never mind. No, this map. No, this map's terrible. No, I was thinking of a different map. I was thinking of one of the Evo RTS maps that I like, but isn't that popular? Yeah, LLTA Complex. Oh, boy. Well, there's not really much else to watch at the moment. I mean, 
Google Frog and Yogstoth is going on, and that's, like I said, game three. So, we'll continue along with this. Woo! Okay, it sounds like Forever's taking a bit of a break. In that case, so shall I? Although, admittedly, if I'm taking a break, then we might not watch this game. Not sure what's going on. I mean, Forever had already a fair bit of a break. Like, they've been waiting for about five minutes now. Or, not five minutes. We're like 15 minutes now. 15, 20 minutes since the last game. I don't know. Anyway, I will take a short break, so stay tuned. I'll be back in a couple minutes, like a minute or so.